70-year-old man will avoid trial after pleading guilty to a 2013 stabbing death. James Say has spent time in prison for two other murders. WLKY Steve Bergen joins us now with reaction. Steve? Thank you. James Say has a long history of violence. His latest victim was supposed to have been his friend. What he done will never, ever bring my dad back, or what he got will never bring my dad back. The victim's daughter says she's relieved the man responsible for her dad's death is headed back to prison. In February of 2013, Orville Avis was found beaten and stabbed to death in his Dosker Manor apartment. Avis had allowed James Say to move in. Say spent 14 years behind bars for a 1982 murder. He wasn't out long when he killed again and was again sent back to prison. Say never served his full time for those two killings. This is one of the problems we see with uh, less than full time, and that's because of money, because of credits, and things like that. He got out earlier, and what did he do when he got out? Killed someone again. And you could predict that he was going to do it, unfortunately, by his behavior. Say so he says he's guilty under the Alford plea, which means while not admitting to the crimes, he knows a jury is likely to find him guilty. Tara Hood says while the system is flawed, she believes the people working in it did their job. The only thing that I can hope for is that there's other people safe now because they did their job and they've got him put away now again. And when he comes up for parole, I'll be there to make sure he doesn't get out. All three of Say's victims were stabbed to death. The plea agreement calls for Say to get 20 years for Avis's murder, along with robbery and tampering with physical evidence. Steve Bergen, WLKY News. Thanks, Steve. Say will be formally sentenced in October. He will have to spend at least 17 years of the 20-year sentence in prison.